The country's first Binale opened in Kochi yesterday. The art carnival will feature over 80 artists from 24 countries including India. The details. The Kochi Musiris Binale is now a reality. The state chief minister opened India's first Binale in the culturally rich Fort Kochi on a special day, the 12th day of the 12th month of 2012. The epoch-making art carnival will feature over 80 artists from 24 countries including India. In his inaugural address, Mr. Umanchandi said the event would give the much-needed international exposure to local artists. He said the Binale would help introduce the state's art scenario to the rest of the world as it is on the threshold of ushering in development. A galaxy of prominent figures including ministers, MLAs, artists and film directors were present on the occasion. Panchavadyam, Kaigotipata and Ashtabadi gave a typical local touch to the function. The inaugural ceremony climaxed with an electrifying concert by Oscar-nominated British singer M.I.A. Over the next three months, the artists will be presenting their installations, paintings, sculptures, films and performing arts at 14 venues spread across Fort Kochi, Matancheri and Ernakulam. The Kochi event is on the lines of those in Venice and Havana. It places equal thrust on contemporary art and traditional folk and classical arts of various parts of the country. Some big names in the global art circuit will be showing their works. Prominent Indian participants include Vivan Sundaram, Vishwanathan, Subodh Gupta, Sheila Gowda, Anand Joshi, K.P. Reji and Balsam Koleri. The Kochi Musiris Binale is named after the ancient port city of Musiris, which is believed to have existed in the region as its gateway of trade. The main venue of the event is the Aspen Wall House, a sea-facing building built by an English builder in 1867. The Kochi Binale Foundation was set up by two of the country's leading artists, Krishnamachari Bose and Riyas Komo. According to them, this is an effort to shape an alternative cultural discourse on a platform for artists, political thinkers and students from around the world. A city that did not have any single gallery of international standards will now be placed on the world's art map with a sumptuous feast on show for the next three months. Bureau Report, DD News, Thirvanandapuram.